Chris, today you've been officially appointed as the, the Park Thistle first team manager. Um, how does that feel? Yeah, really proud, actually. Um, delighted, obviously, to, to be offered um, after you know, a bit of turmoil at, at, at the club. But, you know, the last three results have, have probably swung it in terms of uh, making that decision. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm really proud um, to lead the club. You know, I led the club as a player um, and every day I, I gave everything as a player. And likewise, over the last three games, I've tried to do exactly the same myself and Paul. Um, we've been as professional as we possibly can, and so have the players. Um, and you see the you know the reaction that the players give in terms of the results. Um, and it's about keeping that going now. Yeah, I mean, what has the experience been like of just being in charge of the first team for the last sort of three weeks or so? It's been great. You know, like I said, it, I've mentioned it a few times, but it, to me, it's about players. It's about their attitudes and and their um, motivations. Um, and then we, we guide them as, we, as best we can, we give them as much information as we can and coach the team and manage the team the best way we see fit. Um, but ultimately they have to get a lot of credit because they, they really stepped up, um, didn't let it affect them, didn't let anything take their focus away. Um, and from our point of view it's been great to work with them because you know they, they train hard and they have trained hard, trained hard um, but you see that they've played hard as well. Um, and to me, you know, you play the way you train. Um, and likewise, you know, you train the way you play. So um, I think that's that's a given for, for this football club that you have to train hard um, because you see the benefits that you get on a Saturday or a Tuesday night in Dundee um, when you walk away with the three points. Yeah, and as you say, it's been a good response from the players, but do you feel like you're getting to know this group of players as every day goes by? Yeah, of course. Uh, and I'm probably lucky in that I know them all anyway, um, which is good and helpful. Um, but, you know, we're always learning. I think that's that's a good thing. It's doesn't matter what age you are, I think if if you feel that you can't learn anything else then you know what's the point. So for me it's about learning every day and learning new things and learning about people and um, but one thing's for sure is that there's a good bunch here, a, a very good team um, and a team that I've thoroughly enjoyed working with and, and I know Paul has as well. Um, and like I said, training has been excellent um, in terms of their attitude and their desire and the way they work um, but also the, the way they've applied themselves in the games and I think that's what fans, that's the part the fans see. They see the games, they see you on a Saturday or a, or a Tuesday night and um, they don't see the effort that goes on behind the scenes but ultimately you know they appreciate what they're seeing on the pitch um, come Saturday. And it's obviously been a sort of whirlwind few weeks for you. Um, what have been the main things that you've learned? I've learned so much you know I, I think uh, football evolves every year. To me you know shapes change, formations change, the way teams play, change, it all evolves every single year. You have to evolve with it. Um, players have to evolve, staff have to evolve, coaches, managers, you can't just continue doing the same things that we were doing previously. So for me it's about learning every day um, and like I said it's I would never be the, the closed book type to, to say I can't learn anymore. To me it's about learning as we go um, but taking our own experiences and our own strengths and helping the players as much as we possibly can because for me it's about giving them as much in their arsenal as we can and, and then being able to watch that on a Saturday when they put it all together. And you mentioned Paul McDonald a couple of times, how important has his support been as assistant manager? Yeah, Paul's been amazing for, for me and, and for the club actually because you know we were both stepped up and we were thrown into it. Um, Paul's experience has been massively appreciated by me um, and I think the players as well, they appreciate having him there. Um, but yeah, he's, he's went way over uh, what was expected of him. Um, he's essentially running two, two jobs, so it's, it's, it's a very difficult situation um, and one that we're really grateful um, to him for. Um, but you see that everybody's doing that right now. Everybody's doing a wee bit more than was expected of them. But if the club's going to get somewhere, that, that's what has to happen. And you know, we're lucky because we've seen from the inside of the club, I've experienced it as a player and we've been in the top six in the Premier League everybody has a part to play uh, and I think you see that none more so than, than Paul McDonald because I say he's essentially running two two big jobs. And straight back into the game as well, tomorrow we've got Wraith here at Firhill, your first game <coughs> um, in the dugout at Firhill and um, what's that going to mean to you? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow, I'm looking forward to a home game first of all, it's been three tough away games, um, so really looking forward just to being back home at, at Firhill um, and I said earlier in the press, you know, this is home for me. Um, so really looking forward to the game, very proud to, to lead the team out as their manager um, at a home game in front of the home crowd. So um, I think when I, when I 
speak to players and any time I talk to players we see that focus and that desire within their eyes they want to take this club somewhere um, and it's about aiming high you know I speak to them about that you know we don't settle for second best we, we aim as high as we possibly can and we see where this club can, can end up because we know what it's capable of and coming up against Wraith what kind of game are we expecting against them? Yeah another tough game um, you know we know what to expect from Wraith Rovers um, we've given the players as much information as we can on them um, but I think you know Wraith are in a, in a position right behind us um, good technical players in the front end of the pitch you know they've got good combinations in the front end of the pitch um, but ultimately as I've said about every game up to now it's about us to me it's about Partick Thistle we analyse the other team we we look at what they can do and their strengths and weaknesses but ultimately it's about us with that game plan and executing that game plan um, and up until now the players have to take credit for that because they've they've ex executed it absolutely brilliantly and for tomorrow what's the latest in terms of injury news? Uh, the kind of usual in terms of a couple back and a, a couple out that's how it seems to be um, you know we're lucky that the um, Holt comes back into the squad um, just in the last couple of days he's managed to get back in training um, and so does Darren Brownlee as well so good to see some, some competition in the back line and also some big lads arriving back in to, to stiffen that up as well so great to just have these guys back because they're big players for this football club um, and just the, the other couple still missing you know, Anton Dowds um, who's back doing light training now um, and hopeful he'll be back as of next week um, and you know Cammy Smith again with the the ongoing sort of groin issue he'll he'll miss out as well. Thanks Tim Chris, congratulations. Cheers, thank you.